What I'm going to do first is fetch files from the Amazon EC2 or S3 web service by going over here to steps under integration under internal services is where you'll find a number of services and some of them relate to Amazon. There's the Amazon SES service, the Amazon S3 service. Under Amazon S3, the first thing I'd like to do is list all files in a certain directory on the Amazon EC2 service. So I pick the list objects step and I have to provide a bucket name. And in this case on my Amazon S3 instance I've created a bucket called video samples with another number of files in that particular bucket and you'll see the output of this step is list objects one output. Now to show those files I've created a simple form here. I'm going to edit that form and I'm going to add a data grid so that we can see those files listed here with all of their various properties. And the data type I need to find is S3 object data. I just searched for that data type here. The data type name will be list of files to show. And if I'm happy with the changes I've made to the form there, I can save that. Now this form needs some data mapped in, so I'm going to show the mapping editor. And you'll see I need a list of files to show, and on the left hand side in my flow I have the S3 object data that came from the Amazon S3 service. So I can say OK. I can debug this flow. And when I run it, the first thing that will happen is we'll connect to the Amazon S3 service to list files. And here you'll see a number of files that were found. Four in the video samples bucket with their tags, the name, the file size, the owner, last modified date. And here are those same four files in that video samples directory on Amazon S3's control console.